Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. The darkspawn taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that. But it means joining us. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the Creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other Wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. Well, I admire you for being so civil to a race that's treated yours so terribly. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. A 
I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The Joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. The Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. By orders of Tern Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Make a speed your steps.
Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the Majors. Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes, even without his bodyguard, drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Go on, then. Good luck to you, then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. As you wish. You approach the tent of Tern Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Very well.
Well met. Hail to you. This isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. There'll be plenty this time of year. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. How do you do? Hail, Grey Warden. Go not into death gladly, Shh, but to listen. that evil has been held at bay by your spirit. If you'd excuse me, we are praying. Go to stand beside the maker. Go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the King. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now.
Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. to you. Watch over Terran Loghain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the Darkspawn. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the Maker that he might find us worthy. Welcome, young man. I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price as we know only too well. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily, and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? 
goodbye. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Well met. Hail to you. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Hail to you. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Well met, my lord. Maybe this really is a blight. Maybe the Grey Wardens are right. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camped in the valley are all human. No, clearly the Grey Wardens pick their recruits on their merits. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. Take care. My weapons thirst for darkspawn blood. Soon battle will be upon us. Leave me to my preparation. You there, Elf. What's your name? Oh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed?
Are you the new Grey Warden recruit? I, I was just walking by when I heard. It must be exciting to be so important. Wait, you aren't here to tell me I'm in trouble, are you? Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the King's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the Quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the Quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. Well met. Make his breath another elf. What do you want? Make it quick. We're busy. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the Dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the King's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the Dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana. A beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigannon away, but this only vexed her, and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigannon in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day, and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. We live by his teachings even today. It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the Dwarven folk could say for certain. It was an honor. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it. And draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with caddis, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. I am no bard, but I'll do my best. Lathias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the Dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. 
She taught Lathias to use the Dwarven Battle Wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the Clan, who made him their chieftain. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigana away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigana in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. We live by his teachings even today. Wilds and watch the progression of the Dark Spawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Dark Spawn blood is poisonous, not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk, we stand here on the eve of battle. Let us consider the evil before us. In their pride, the mages of the ancient Tevinter Imperium sought to open a portal into the heavenly Golden City itself. They tainted it with their sin, and they were cast back into our world as Darkspawn. They are man's sins made flesh, an evil that spreads like an illness across our land. To face them, we must first face the evil within ourselves. Let us bow our heads and beg the Maker's forgiveness. Let us not be proud, so we may take courage against the darkness. I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. How do you do? Hail, Grey Warden. How do you do? Well met. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Not an elf, yet here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari Wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. 
What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. You there, Elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Your... Oh, yes, of course. I... Uh, please, forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Oh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... But please, pardon my terrible manners. I... Uh, I am just the quartermaster. A simple man. No one special. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like.
Hail to you. Hello again, Warden. May the Maker guard you in the coming battle. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. to have such an opportunity. You're very lucky to have such an opportunity. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties or I'll get the switch. Thank you. 